So our category last year was the medium employer of the year, so 10, uh, 20 to 200 employees is the medium category. Um, I was actually only really new to NAC. Um, it was my second day on the job when I started writing the nomination for the company, so it was really good because it taught me a lot about the company in a short amount of time. Um, but one of the things that I found in this nomination process, which if you haven't nominated before, you'll discover is you'll find a lot of things that you can do better. And that's one of the things that we've really taken away from this nomination process is we pulled apart our um, apprenticeship program that we run at NEC and we've dissected it and we've built it even stronger. So we've looked at our nomination and we thought we were going really well. But after we've put, a, put our nomination in, after the judging process and so forth, we just said, no, nah, let's make this better. We could see areas we could make it better. So um, Amy touched on that before when she was mentioning about finding out a lot about yourself and marketing and so forth. And that's one of the things that as a company we found out about ourselves was, you know, we could see areas where we could improve and have better outcomes. And at the end of the day, as an employer of trainees and apprentices, you want the outcomes for your trainees and apprentices, not for the company. You want those young people who are coming into your organisation to walk away at the end, or in our case, we try and keep them all because we're greedy and we don't want to share our IT specialists. But is you want those people to have a successful outcome and you really don't want to set them up to fail. So this process, we found, has made our program stronger for better outcomes for those young people. Um, Winning the award, that was a real stunner for us. We hadn't expected that. We went into this, especially me writing the nomination only my first two days into the company. I really didn't think I was going to get enough out there. Um, was really great. As a company, we felt so proud. We actually went and brought morning tea for all of them. We've got 170 employees um, over two floors. We did a big, massive morning tea to thank everyone in the organisation because it wasn't about me writing the nomination. It wasn't about the boss having the vision eight years ago to set up an apprenticeship program. It wasn't about just our trainees and apprentices. It's everyone because everyone in our company is a mentor to them. They help me do my job. They help get those successful outcomes that we spoke about. So one of the benefits of that is we shared um, the award with everyone in our company and we made everyone in our company understand that it was just as much their award as it was for what we actually do within the company. Um, after that, you get put through a little bit of a ringer as an employer, probably not so much. I'll let Kimberly talk about the individuals. Um, but as an employer, you go through a slightly different process to become a national finalist. So all the finalists from the different categories, um, they go through the eight states and territories and they pick the top three. So it's not an automatic entrance to get down there. When you find out you're a finalist, you then have an auditor, for a better word, um, come into your organisation. And where Amy was saying before about proving, this is where you have to prove but you have to prove it in the workplace. It's great, you can send a letter. It's great, you can send some photos of things that are happening, but you actually have someone come into your workplace and observe you doing what you said that you do. So we had a gentleman who came in, he spent the whole day with us. We had people like, um, for us for example, we had the lecturers from CDU come in and speak to them about what we do in our program, what they see from our apprentices and trainees when they're at lectures. Uh, we had other people who were connected to the company. Um, our apprentices and trainees did a project and we wrote about that project in our nomination and about how successful it was. And we actually got a gentleman to come in who we did that project for to talk to what those apprentices did so and to say how pleased he was with the results. So it wasn't just us saying it and a bit of an email blurb. It's actually that person in the flesh 
commenting on that as a, our trainees and a company. Then they select the final three. Well, hang on, that is when you're in the final three. It was, it's such a whirl because it just goes so quick. Um, then you go down <coughs> to Sydney. Well, we went to Sydney, Brisbane this year, um, and the three finalists will stand in front of a judging panel. Um, you've got to up it from where you were in the NT Training Awards and really you're selling because you're now going against other state finalists. But it's a great opportunity and great friends. We've made great business contacts with a construction company. Who would have thought? An IT company and construction company. But, yeah, emails backwards and forwards, still chatting to them. And it's a great... Well, Kimberly's not him, but... It's also a great thing that when you go down and you're with all the other finalists, so we were meeting up for breakfast, um, you go out, you have a few meals and so forth, but it comes into almost like a rugby final. It's the NT against the world. That's what it felt like. And we were just all sticking together, whether we were businesses, whether we were apprentices, trainees, training organisations and so forth. It was just that great feeling of we were all there to represent the NT and so that's probably one of the best things that I took out of that that as the NT we were all there together and we were so supportive of everyone's nominations everyone's opportunities so I think we all went a bit eruption when Kimberley won the national award too that was wonderful